Welcome to AEW Dark coming to you from St. Louis, Missouri. I am Excalibur, joined as always by the human suplex machine, Taz. And Taz, we got a great episode of Dark coming up. Might even call it FTW Dark. Oh, yes. Some Team Taz representat representation, he's for me to say, in this. I'm so excited. Dark Order, you're in deep, you know what, buddy, tonight. Well, let's not waste any time and throw it down to the ah. recently admonished Justin Roberts. Your opening contest is a trios tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Soon to be making their way to the ring from Orlando, Florida at a combined weight of 697 pounds. Colton, Austin, and Billy Gunn, the Gun Club. Sorry about for my flub, I was a little excited. We'll fire it up for tags in action tonight, baby. Here's the gun club. Well, it's so great to have Dark back in uh, the arena setting. We've been at our, our, our home at uh, AEW Universal. It's been great down there in Orlando, but we're back here on the campus of St. Louis University at the Chaffetz Arena. Yes, and there's the big bad Billy Gunn. Speaking of Billy, home of the Billikins. The Billikins, which is the craziest mascot gimmick ever. It's kind of weird and funky at the same time. It looks kind of, kind of like a little weird da daredevil with like three pointy ears and a poindexter nose, but I digress. And the Gun Club, we've seen a shift in attitude out of these three men. I love it. Really led from the top by that man, Billy Gunn. The mastermind, this man, Billy Gunn. Even though he's never beaten me in his career, he's a mastermind, I'll tell you. And their opponents, Evil Uno. Alex Reynolds and Colt Boom Boom Cabana. Typical, typical, typical Dark Order. 7,000 members in full effect when they're not all competing. Join I hate that stuff. Order. Well, the other guys aren't going towards the ring. They're just out there to show support for their teammates. Listen, don't let the facts get in the way of a good story, Excalibur. I tried to make a point on the step on that because we're here in St. Louis, my friend. I'm telling you right now, you are over here. Oh, it's not just St. Louis, Taz. I step on your points everywhere. Not here. Well, I step on my own on camera, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> but I digress. Yeah, but I digress. Gold Cabana, Evil Uno, and Alex Reynolds representing the Dark Order here tonight. As Taz mentioned at the top, we will see five and ten of the Dark Order. Alan Angel, Preston Vance, take on Powerhouse Hobbs and the FTW champion, Absolute Ricky Starch, later on here tonight. Correct, and Hook will be in that corner because there's a game plan involved. There's always a game plan with the Gun Club, with Team Taz. People like us, we have get Me and Billy Gunn are friends. We talk. I know what they're going to do with this match. I know their mindset that Billy Gunn has for the Dark Order. Because we have something in common tonight. Gun Club against Dark Order. Team Taz against Dark Order. You catch it on here, son. I, I didn't really put it together, but since you, you laid it out so so nicely, Thank it you. makes all, all the sense in the world, Taz. You are welcome. Just like it makes all the sense in the world to order Full Gear live this Saturday night on pay-per-view. CM Punk versus Eddie Kingston. The Super Click taking on Jurassic Express, Christian Cage, Falls Count Anywhere, and the main event, Kenny Omega, Hangman Adam Page to decide the AEW World Championship. All of that, so much more this Saturday night live on pay-per-view with Full Gear. Yeah, Full Gear is going to be awesome in Minneapolis, a great wrestling town. Look at these shoulder blocks by both Colton Gunn and Evil Uno. Uh-oh. Uh, Crisscross there by Evil Uno, but Colton Gunn a right hand across the jaw. I love it. Look at Colton mocking, mocking the Evil Uno. Colton backs Uno up into the ropes. Reversal by Uno. Uno drops down, telegraphs it. Colton with the kick. Colton Gunn taking advantage. Uno catches the boot. Aubrey catches the, the boot. Hey, that's not fair. The neck breaker to Colton Gunn, courtesy of Evil Uno. Well, that was sketchy. That's definitely not fair. What the hell? Ref's involved now? Never liked Aubrey. No, oh. that's right, Aubrey. Do the right thing, Aubrey Edwards, if that is your real damn name, lady. Swing and a miss. Kick to the midsection by Evil Uno. Uno be begging for forgiveness. Oh, what? Now you're trying to curry favor with the referee here, Evil, Evil Uno? You wear a mask because you're ugly, man. Ugly man. I'm screaming like someone else. Whatever. Back to the Sorry. Evil Uno. Stop Alex me. Reynolds, the legal man. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Uppercut. Take Austin Gunn off his feet. Hook on the far leg. Just a one count. Better be careful. I'll put you on a list. Anyway, so here we go. Reynolds now trying to 
Tried the clothesline, Austin. Nice ankle pick quickly there. Drops. Yep, and coming over that top, driving the face of Reynolds into the mat. Nicely done by Austin Gunn. Back elbow by Reynolds. Reynolds up to the middle rope, comes off the drop kick, takes Austin off of his feet. Put him in the midsection. That hurts. Well done by Reynolds there. I, know, I, I gotta tell you, in my prime, I would have, I didn't mind, not didn't mind, but I would rather take a drop kick to the face than in the sternum in the mid -sec section. It just knocks the air out of you. Yeah, it knocks the wind out of you. And uh oh, Billy oh, Gunn. Oh. Oh. Calling out Colt, boom, boom, Cabana. Well, everybody hates Colt, uh, everybody hates Colt Cabana. I mean, and there's no truth to the rumor that Colton Gunn was named after Colt Cabana, that Billy Gunn was always a big fan of. Colt Cabana. You get the continuity thing? I, I, get, I get what you're saying. Again, you laid it out beautifully. Jess. Oh, right hand to the jaw by Billy Gunn to Colt Cabana. Well, you know, Cabana, the thing is, he's wrestling a long time. I mean, he's wrestling longer than Billy. Well, that's not possible. <laughs> it's definitely not possible. Cabana escape. Oh. oh. Cabana getting an eyeful. Oh boy. Subtle. Boot to the face avoided by Cabana. Cabana rolls up. Billy. Oh, right hands from Cabana. Uh oh, watch out, Billy. And up. Flip, flop, and fly. Sends Billy Gunn up into the corner. Austin Gunn sent into his father's midsection. Colton Gunn now. Sent into his father's midsection. Of, I mean, like, what, what is going on here? I mean, enough. To, I mean, the dark order. I mean, it was like a twenty count. Oh, come on, you mockery men, mockery dark order men. They are, I say. Gun club, a meeting of the minds. Center of the ring and dark order has control. This gun club members flying all over the place. Dark order in control. Referee Aubrey Edwards trying to regain control. And coming up this Friday, the big start to Full Gear Weekend. First, Rampage live at 10, 9 Central this Friday night on TNT. Then immediately following Rampage, the countdown special to Full Gear. It all starts 10, 9 Central this Friday night live on TNT. And great teamwork here being exhibited by Dark Order. Yes, they definitely have great teamwork. I have to tell you, when we saw way back when, a lot of it evolved on dog. Well, so, so don't turn your back on Gunn because he got all over Alex. But I did, you know, when we saw Cole Cabana getting involved with the dark water, I did not think it would stick. Rarely I'm incorrect, Excalibur. On this, I was incorrect. Yeah, Cole, Cole Cabana's really found a family with the dark order. Well, nobody else wanted him. I mean, that's why. Well, what about Hangman Adam Page? He's found a family with the dark order. And well, but he's another guy nobody wants. <laughs> he's drunk. Look at this, the low bridge. Oh. Austin Gunn. That's spilling the outside by his brother, and now Low Bridge sends Colton Gunn to the outside. Excellently done. Watch out. Billy Gunn spills the outside. Things not looking good for Gun Club here tonight. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Dark Order is outmaneuvering mentally the Gun Club here, if that even is an accurate sentence, but I think it is. I'm pretty sure. We made it accurate. Stop on the fingers. <laughs> definitely made it accurate. But Oh, whoa. Inside the ring, Evil Uno with Austin Gunn in the corner. Damn. Big running chop. And Colton Gunn in the corner. And the flying apple from Colt Cabana. Tons of misdirection action going on in this matchup here. How is Aubrey Edwards supposed to keep track of the action? Tope Suicida from Alex Reynolds. Uh oh, something evil from Uno. He's got the near leg hooked to no. Austin Gunn just able to kick out. Way to go, Austin. Good job on that kick out there, champ. Way to go. Usually that is it, but Austin Gunn had to dig deep for the kick out. Evil Uno position. Oh, Austin escapes through the legs of Uno. Drop kick. Big drop kick by. Oh, Colton Gunn, but then he just got clothes on over the top rope Col by Cabana. Colton, Colton spilled the outside. Austin Gunn floats over the top, lands on his feet. The foot of Uno collides with the face of Austin Gunn. Austin Gunn floats over. The roll up one, two, the ropes. three. Oh, he grabbed the ropes. <laughs> there are your winners. <laughs>
gun club. Daddy taught him well. There you go. Good job, Austin. Gun Club absolutely stole this one from the Dark Order here in our opening contest. Worked out perfectly for the Gun Club. And they maintain that great win-loss record, the Gun Club. Victorious here in our opening contest. What a family of guns. Up next, action in the women's division as Riho takes on Heidi Howitzer next on Dark. Time limit. Making her way to the ring from Shinagawa City, Japan, Riho! One of the most popular competitors in the AEW Women's Division. The first ever AEW Women's World Champion, Riho, in action next here on Dark. She's gonna have her work cut out for her against this powerful opponent, making her AEW debut. But Riho has been overcoming the odds her entire career. Excellent at it. She's just with your point. Her opponent from Kansas City, Missouri, Heidi Howitzer. Heidi Howitzer, very powerful competitor, as I mentioned. But Riho, I mean, she defeated Nyla Rose to win or to become the inaugural AEW Women's World Champion. And Nyla Rose, perhaps the strongest competitor in the women's division. Yeah, no doubt. And you see Heidi. She seems to be a powerful athlete herself. Oh. From the looks of her, she seems like she's probably a cool jazz fan. <laughs> nice bridge out. Lateral press by Riho. Riho up to her feet. The drop kick sends Howitzer into the ropes. Oh, much swing and a miss by Howitzer. Riho so quick, so elusive. Terrace oh. takes down Howitzer. She tried to block it, ended up turning to the side, but don't matter. Riho is on the hop right now. Outser disoriented in the ropes and the tiger faint kick from Riho. Riho with the cover, the hook of the far leg. Howitzer kicks out. Yes, good kick out there by the young lady Heidi Howitzer. But Riho, you see, even though again not as you know, big as some of the, or, or you know, heavy or tall as some of the other athletes on the women's roster, she's very uh, quick, uses her energy, her exuberance to excel. Riho with the crossbody Howitzer. Except for when this happens. Catches Riho and just hoists her up, carrying her around the ring. Riho is in some trouble here. I think she. Howitzer. Howitzer said, just said she's good at sports and wrestling. Cover two. No. Riho kicking out. Sports and wrestling. I think she said that. It's, I, I look at wrestling as a sport, but that's just it's me. The king of sports. It is the king of sports. Not just in Tokyo, but here too. There you go. AEW. We're making our Minneapolis, Minnesota debut coming up this Friday night live with AEW Rampage. And then Saturday night, November 13th, Full Gear, the big one, live on pay-per-view. Both events taking place at the Target Center. Tickets are on sale right now, AEWTIX.com. You're not going to want to miss it. Heidi Howitzer. Yeah, she's playing too many games, this young lady, uh, Heidi. She, she, she better get focused and stay aggressive and not you know, overlook. Riho, I don't know if Heidi realizes she's the underdog in this thing, meaning Heidi. Yeah, Heidi Howitzer went for the Vader bomb, and Riho coming off the top, diving foot stomps. Riho covers two, three. No winner of this match. Riho. I told you. That's what makes Riho so dangerous, Taz. Can't overlook her, you know. She was outgunned, so to speak, but she came up big using those diving foot stomps. Let's take another look. Boom. Right, right there, right on the sternum area. I mean, it goes back to what you were saying about the drop kicks, Dad. I'd rather take a drop kick in the face than have somebody Dude, kind of diving off the top and hit you. You've drop kicked in the stomach and mid like the, the worst. chest there. It's horrible. It's horrible. You can't explain it to anybody. It sucks. Riho, victorious here on Dark. <laughs> oh, wow. Elite general manager, huh? The greatest wrestler of all time getting his hands on his own professional wrestling game where I create the cards. This is my universe. We have a challenger online. What would a layman know about professional wrestling, huh? There are clearly some bugs in the system or something. I'm not, I don't lose. I've got every belt in the universe. How am I losing in this game? Think you have what it takes? Prove it with AEW Elite General Manager. 
Draft your favorite AEW wrestlers and book your own shows from week to week. Download AEW Elite General Manager, available now on iOS and Android. A special attraction tag team match. The Factory's Aaron Solo and Nick Camarado take on Too Fast, Too Fuego. This is a tag team bout set for a one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first at a combined weight of 485 pounds, Aaron Solo and Nick Camarado. The Nick. factory members here, damn it. The factory in effect here tonight in full effect here on Dark. We'll see QT Marshall in action a little later on this evening, but right now, Nick Camarado and Aaron Solo. Oh, Camarado. Camarado's a different type of individual. He's basically insane. Uh, Kansas City, I was checking out of the hotel, having a conversation with the gentleman behind the front desk, and then uh, the register next to me. Not that they have registers from 1950 anymore, but um, <laughs> Nick Camarado uh, lost his room key and was going crazy on the gentleman behind the desk. Like, he went nuts on this guy. Like, Not that, physically. Like, like it's that guy's fault. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. You would never lose your call. And their never, opponents. Never. From the sun, Fuego one, Fuego two, too fast, too Fuego! Taz, I thought this was an AEW Universal e exclusive. Yes. Word, yes, sir, and I agree with you. I thought it was too. That's Fuego two, uh, with his leading new, uh, the charge. Leading the charge here. Um, yeah, we've seen this uh, at our Universal Orlando home base, kind of rental home base. And uh, it's interesting, we're, we're a little perplexed on who possibly Fuego 2 is. I don't really give a rat's ass who Fuego 1 is under the mask. I know he's from Mobile, Alabama, and he's a luchador, which is an oxymoron. But that Fuego 2 guy, I don't know. I mean, there was a lot of speculation based on what we saw from our graphics department, because in the original matchup graphic, Fuego 2 had a tattoo that, I mean, uh, you, there's a strap there, but you could very clearly see a cursive D and M, and he had a very distinct tattoo on his neck, but perhaps that was an error by the team in Nashville, because this Fuego 2 gentleman does not have any tattoos, at least that I can right. you well, know, that, identify. That D and the M, I looked into it, his real name, uh, Fuego 2, his first name is Dom, like Dominic. So that's that's why it was a D and an O, but I think he had a D and an M, but he had it removed, I believe. Oh, so laser tattoo removal. We have them backstage. The, <laughs> we have them, yeah, they're near catering. They're always here. Fuego 2 getting a good reception here in St. Louis. And tomorrow night, AEW Dynamite will return to Indianapolis, Indiana, at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum, and then in Next week, we will make our debut in Norfolk, Virginia for the fallout from Full Gear. Tickets for both events on sale right now, AEWTIX.com, as Aaron Solo gets sent to the ropes. Oh, look at that arm drag. Fuego Dose, the arm drag, holding on to Solo. I think I found a tip. I think I'm gonna go with my detective role here, Excalibur. Okay. Well, who wears mask all the time around here, besides you? Uh, the Dark Order is the answer. Look what color socks under those black patent leather boots Fuego 2 has on. Purple! Look at Fuego 2 coming down. You see it? Off the top rope, I see it. And, yeah. Wow, Fuego 2 already. I think that's Cody Vance. Is that 10? <laughs> now he's bigger than 10. Uh, let's see. Preston Vance. That's what I mean. We'll get uh -oh. <laughs> Drop kick <laughs> by the Fuegos. Too fast, too Fuego, two drop kicks. Takes Aaron Solo off his feet. Yeah, they're both too annoying. Uh, but, ooh, what a nice knee right there by Aaron Solo. So you think Preston Vance changed masks, rubbed the, the 10 off of his chest, and is now here competing uh, under a different alias? Well, I told you we have tattoo removal here. I mean, I've been telling you that. It's all over the place backstage. Look at that. Nice job right there by uh, the Fuego. One. Fuego. Del Sol comes over the top rope. Look at Fuego 2 signaling we want the shot at the championship. Yeah, the, see that? The Lucha Brothers, Ray Phoenix, 
and Penta El Cerro Miedo will take on FTR this Saturday night live at Full Gear on pay-per-view and the AEW World Tag Team Championship will be hanging in the balance. Well, speaking of hanging in the balance, right now, of course, the Camarado, Fuego 1 is hanging in the balance almost. Fuego escapes off the back of Camarado. Oh! Went for a shoulder tackle and paid the price. Like a big truck from Jersey running it down on the New Jersey Turnpike. And look at, look at Fuego 2 with the double buys. Kind of does look like Preston Vance, actually. That's what Ten does. But Ten's got to deal with Team Taz later on. He's got to deal with Starks and Hobbs. That's what he's got to deal with. One strap down, bro. One strap down. And Fuego 2 charges into the ropes. Camarado takes down Fuego 2. Uh-oh. Nope, strap, strap back, back up, up, man. That's a rare one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't see that much. <laughs> Fuego 2. I Believes he made a mistake. <laughs> Shot back up is great. I don't think I've ever seen that. Drop step into the waist lock, and Camarado just, takes Fuego too. He just shut them off using that power. Whoa. And Bandera sends Fuego too out to the apron. Fuego dos. Fuego dos, the missile drop kick. They call that L missile drop kick. That's what Fuego's twos and fast two. That's, that's what they call it in Mobile. Right. Oh, Aaron Solo, the knee to the back. A Fuego Dos and Camarado. Oh, turned Fuego two, Fuego Dos inside out. Big time clothesline by Nick Camarado of the factory. Keep thinking about those purple socks. I had to point it out. Great, you know what? It's Great broadcast the, journalism by you. That's what I do, my friend. Delayed vertical suplex. That's why I'm probably the best in the business's history at this job. Lateral press, hook of the far leg by Camarado. And I gotta put myself over. Nobody else is. That's my gimmick. There looks to be some some bruising on the right side of the neck of Fuego 2. Yes, I think you're right. And then he had that before the match, too. That's a good observation by you, sir. <laughs> That's some bruising before the match even happened. Who knows what he was up to last night? <laughs> Scoop and a slam by Aaron Solo. Solo, it's the ropes leaping knee drop. Across the jaw. They on him, Solo. Pin him. Two count. Aaron Solo maybe hooked that leg next time. Solo. S-O-L-O. -O, like the cup. All right. <laughs> I don't know if he's wearing a cup, but Aaron's named after the damn cup. Rip the mask off him. There you go, Solo. Solo going after the mask of Fuego Dos. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Uh oh, front headlock. He's oh, he's doing. He's gonna mock them with the tornado DDT. Fuego one's gotta be just brewing on that apron. Pissed. He's not even moving. He's just looking at the action. Fuego one. Dos throws off Aaron Solo. Can Fuego two send for the man on the apron? Roll over there. Do something. Fuego two. Do a little roll or do not roll. Uh oh. Oh wait. What the hell? Wow. Reverse oh. DDT by Fuego Dos. There's the roll. I knew there was a, there's another roll. <laughs> That's a nice Fuego roll. Del Sol. <laughs> a literal house of fire. You're not uh, kidding. While Leapfrog's over, Com wow, Camarado, oh, what agility. Of shades of Monty Gennetti. But the drop kick to the ankles takes Camarado off the apron. Kick to the knee and the kick across the jaw from Fuego Dos. Uh-oh. The step up, the stop to the back of the head by Excuse me, by Fuego Del Sol, two, no. Fuego, one, is shocked he did not get the win right there on Solo. Oh, big Polish hammer by Camarado, Fuego Dos. He's not even Polish. Set spill to the outside. Good teamwork, see they're communicating and you got Camarado leading the charge, watch out. Double clothesline attempt at Fuego. Oh, whoa. And look at this, Fuego Dos. Holding on to crossroads by Fuego Del Sol. One, two, no, Fuego Dos pushed into the pinfall. Interesting that Fuego One used the crossroads. Rhodes, he, uh, he's obviously a big fan of Kobe Rhodes, Cody Rhodes. Step up work on Rana. Not to be confused with Kobe Rhodes. It's his uh, cousin from Amarillo. 
Nick Camarado looking to put an end, an early end to. The, oh, wow. What a power to Sky. Uh oh. Thrust kick and a DDT by Fuego del Sol. A teamwork by Too Fast, Too Fuego, Too Slow, Too Joe. What a counter. And now boot to the midsection. Fuego del Sol launches off Fuego to the tornado DDT. One, two, three. Fuego one, Fuego two, too fast, two, Fuego! And you thought the Ding Dongs were great back in the day in NWA? Oh, these guys are tremendous. Shades of the monkeys. <laughs> Pop Keith on that one. <laughs> oh, that was too fast, thing. too Fuego, too victorious. Actually notching their second win. Ahead of full gear coming up this Saturday night, the inner circle, Sammy Guevara and Jake Hager. Sammy Hager in action next. Sammy Guevara. This is a tag team bout set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 449 pounds, Jake Hager and the TNT champion, Sammy. Gamora. Sammy Guevara, Jake Hager representing the inner circle here tonight. And the inner circle will be in action this Saturday night, live on pay-per-view at Full Gear. The Minneapolis Street Fight, the inner circle versus Ethan Page, Scorpio Sky, Andre Arlovsky, Junior Dos Santos, and Dan Lambert of American Top Team. Oh, Dan Lambert did not want to be part of this thing. And Jericho locked him right into this. That Minneapolis street fight is going to be crazy. In a circle against the middle of the year. An American Top Team. Can't wait. Their opponents, the team of Luke Langley and Coco Lane. Luke Langley on your right. Coco Lane, long hair and the tattoos on, well, now on your right. But also speaking of Full Gear Live on pay-per-view this Saturday night, the World Championship Eliminator Tournament Finals, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson versus Miro. Those two men will compete to decide who will challenge for the AEW World Championship next. And a massive opportunity there, man. And we mentioned the main event of Full Gear, the AEW World Championship title match. Kenny Omega defending against the top-ranked Hangman Adam Page. Former buddies, former AEW World Tag Team Champions, elite members, all that stuff. Not anymore, but right now, Guevara, don't turn your back on Sammy now. He's a TNT champion there, buddy. What are you doing? And tomorrow night on Dynamite, the contract for that AEW World Championship title match at Full Gear will be signed tomorrow live on TNT Coast to Coast. Sammy Guevara up to his feet, making it look easy. Uh, you just took the words out of my mouth. I was going to say, he does make it look easy. That, that series of moves there, those transitions, very difficult athletically, but Sammy gets it done. Now here's Big Jake. Oh, Hager, the chop block to Langley. I know Jake Hager a long time, man. Consider him a good friend. He is a bad apple, I promise. Oh, look at this, Coco <laughs> Lane grabbing the shoulders of Hager, allowing Langley Chance to take advantage. Now, Coco now, Coco coming in hot. Look at him. Boots to the midsection, a boot across the jaw of Hager. Doesn't look like a Coco Lane. Right. What's a Coco Lane look like to you? Not him. All right. He looks more like a Jimmy Lane. Or Jack Lane, not La Lane. No, no. Jack Lane. Jack Lane. Jack Lane. All right. Well. Jake Hager, yeah, you got to keep the pressure on him because he wants to start throwing big soup bones at you. I was actually looking at a summer home on Jack Lane. All right. Oh, Jake Hager runs down the opposition, makes the tag out to Guevara, the TNT champion. The back elbows take Coco off his feet. Guevara. Oh, Coco, no, no. Back body drop from Sammy Guevara. Spine buster. Wow. Guevara elevated over the top, lands on the apron. Gaman Geary staggers lane. Springboard hit, another springboard. Into a cutter! Sammy Guevara, huge cutter off the top, and Jake Hager 
Coming off the ropes. Tagged in. Guevara tagged himself in. The Hager bomb, and now Sammy Guevara up to the top. Huge Santana Atomico. Guevara covers and gets the win. Here are your winners, Sammy and Hager. Oh! Oh! Men of the year. Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky not waiting till this Saturday night at full gear. Trying to get the edge up on that Minneapolis street fight. And we're not even in Minneapolis. We're in St. Louis. Laying in the assault on Hager. Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page. What the hell? Who now what? Uh-oh. Santana and Ortiz coming down the ramp. And look at this. Ortiz, Santana, Sky, and Page all squaring off. The oh, men of the year outnumbered. I don't see their uh, American Top Team buddies around. Yeah, American Top Team nowhere in sight. The inner circle standing tall here tonight. But what will the story be this Saturday night? Live on pay per view, full gear, the Minneapolis Street Fight. The best friends, Chuck Taylor, Orange Cassidy, and Wheeler Yuta in trios tag team action next here on AEW Dark. This is a trios tag team match set for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by Chris Statlander, Wheeler Yuta, Chuck Taylor, and freshly squeezed, Orange Cassidy. Great reaction for the best friends here in St. Louis. And before this match gets underway, I want to remind everybody that AEW will be coming to the greater Atlanta area on Wednesday, December 1st, the Gath South Arena in Duluth, Georgia. Tickets for that event on sale right now, AEWTIX.com. Their opponents, a team of Darian Bankston, Davey Vega, and Camaro Jackson. Yeah, that's the Luth, man. That's a hop, skip, and a jump, as they say, from Atlanta. So we're going to get a lot of folks from the uh, Atlanta GA uh, area at the uh, event, I promise. Gwinnett County. Some County. Other people. Stop, pardon me, Cobb County. Gwinnett, Gwinnett County. Yeah, Gwinnett, best Cobb friends. County. I drew some money there, but it's not about me. It's about Orange Cassidy right now and the best friends. Home of the Gwinnett Stripers and Tony Schiavone. That's right. And speaking of Tony Schiavone, his book, Butts in Seats, available for pre-order right now on Amazon or your friendly local comic book store. Butts in Seats comes out November 24th. Orange Cassidy, Taz, you can see those ribs of Cassidy very heavily taped up. I mean, they were taped up because of the damage of that casino ladder match and Matt Hardy, but then Miro really punished the midsection Orange Cassidy last Wednesday night on Dynamite. It was violent. It was nasty with Miro and Orange Cassidy. What he did to Orange, but what a match they had, I have to say. Nice job by Wheeler Yuta right here, though. Davey Vega taking off his feet. Wheeler Yuta fed the foot through the legs, went back through the legs of Vega and takes Vega off his feet with a drop kick. Great agility, great explosivity by Wheeler Yuta. Yeah, Yuta faked out Vega right there. Uh oh, Vega oh. just going old school. Nothing fancy. Rake your eyes out your head. Look at that front chancery suplex. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you what, I used to do a throw like that back in there. I don't like to say I as a commentator, but I will on this. If you throw a little underhook in there with the overhook, it's a better throw, but I digress. I'm just saying. Well, perhaps he was inspired by uh, Satoru Sayama, the Maybe. original Tiger. I was better than him, so it don't matter. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so, Camaro, here we go. Yeah, he never beat you. No, he never did. Camaro Jackson elevating Wheeler Yuta up. Jackson. Wow, look at this. Deep squat, impressive strength by Jackson. Good power, good strength. This young man's got a low center of grab key, as we call it. No knee pads. Reminds me of somebody, Taz. Hmm. I know, well, yes. I know who you mean. I know who you it mean. took you a second. Me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no knee pads. Yeah, it's rare, but it happens. Darian. Bankston got the elbow of Wheeler Yuta. Camaro Jackson got the boot of Yuta. And well, now Wheeler Watch Yuta. He's, this guy can do anything from there at Scalabra, as you know. He faked high. And now. Uh, oh! Bankston and Jackson. Got both. Uh, the yeah. old uh, two for the price of one. And now the Kentucky gentleman, Chuck Taylor, 
Comes in, rising knee strike, takes out Jackson. Davey Vega, swing and a miss. Wheeler Yuta grabs the waist lock. Soul food, German suplex. He planted Vega high on the shoulders and the back of the head. Sure thing, and Yuta's not done. Wheeler Yuta over the top. Takes out Vega, takes out Jackson, and now Darian Bangston in the ring. Chuck Taylor. Oh, good night, goodbye, uh, see ya. The awful waffle, and now look at George Cassidy fired up on the corner. Bro, oh, that was awful, waffle, awful with a capital A, my friend. Holy cow. Orange Cat. There's nothing to do, just cover him, Orange. <laughs> Cassidy puts <laughs> the leg, two, and gets the win. Chuck Taylor. And freshly squeezed, Orange Cassidy. Got a handprint on his chest. But don't know what, don't matter. Oh, oh, Vega. Davey Vega, a sore loser, gets an orange punch for his troubles. Oh, that's for that nasty chop you gave Orange Cassidy. See, next thing you know, he knocks your teeth out your mouth. Now with the best friend. Bum, 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 bum. Sorry. No, no, keep going. No, I'm done. I don't, then I don't have to fill until the end of the <laughs> match. Oh, wait, we got to replay. Down, down. Yeah. down with the best friend. Boom! Right there. Orange punch. Davey Vega got dropped after the bell. And the best friends here in St. Louis got to give the people what they want. Frankie Kazarian goes one on one with Dante Martin, who will have Leo Rush in his corner next. Contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by Leo Rush from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing 205 pounds, Dante Martin. Taz, when we got the lineup for Dark tonight, and we saw this match was, in, you know, was coming up, I think both you and I just had a moment. We just Damn, can't wait for that yeah. one. No, I know, we, we knew right away, you know, you know how sometimes you see two names with a VS in the middle of it, you're like, that's gonna work, that's gonna be great, and that's what this is gonna be. And his opponent, from Yucca Valley, California, weighing 216 pounds, you guessed it, Frank A. Kazarian! And before we get to this match, just another reminder that Full Gear is coming to you live this Saturday night on pay-per-view. Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, defends the AEW Women's World Championship against the top-ranked Ty Conti, Darby Allen, MJF, one-on-one. -on -one. MJF has been trying to break Darby psychologically. Has it worked? We will find out this Saturday night. And the AEW World Championship Eliminator Tournament Finals. Miro versus Brian Danielson to see who's the next man to challenge for the AEW World Championship. Leo Rush in the corner of Dante Martin. Good show of respect between Kazarian and Dante. Yeah, there's zero bad blood between these two athletes right here. A nice uh, mat return by Kazarian there. Could sit out into a hammerlock from the, fa from the front face lock of Dante. Kazarian gets back up to a vertical position. Ins inside trip and Kazarian and Dante both springing up to their feet. Well, obviously a, a very uh, big um, experience advantage goes towards Frankie Kazarian in this thing, but you know, Dante Martin is well established and well documented and ready here in AEW in the world of pro wrestling. A little fireman's carry right here. Oh, oh. Nice feet. But a, Dante's ooh. been tremendous in his, his young young age here in AEW. He certainly is one of the, the hottest young prospects that we have here in this organization. And Leo Rush, when he came in, he identified that and he set his sights on Dante. And Dante! Beautiful crossbody off the middle rope. Deep arm drag takes down Kazarian. Second one takes down Kazarian. Swing and a miss, the speed of Dante on display. Nice counter right there, an arm ball with the knee across the face. That's some good old fashioned Ricky Steamboat like arm drags there with that arm ball. Good job. And Kazarian clasps his fingers together to prevent his elbow from being popped. 
And he backs Dante Martin up to the corner. Rick Knox calling for the clean break. Shot to the chest by Kazarian. And Taz, how would you grade the recruiting job that, that Leo Rush did, bringing Dante Martin into the fold? Looks great. It's a no-brainer. I mean, if you're Leo Rush, a no-brainer. You see he's a young guy like Dante Martin, and Leo himself's a young guy. I mean, still a competitor, obviously. So it's smart by Leo Rush to uh, Great. Right, right now, it's you know we know Darius, the brother of Dante, of Top Flight. Top Flight when they were when they were rolling before Darius got hurt, man, they were getting ready to get you know opportunity at the tag team championships. What a counter by Dante Kazarian faked out Dante inside cradle. So my point is, the arm drag back for Kazarian. My point is, Leo Rush saw an opportunity. Hey, you know while uh, Darius is still out injured, but there's still long term knee injury issues have. Uh, surgery, I should say. I mean, why not? I mean, I think Leo Rush is smart for recruiting uh, Dante. And speaking of smart, Frankie Kazarian, I think he felt this match was getting away from him. The speed of Dante was just too much for Frankie, and so he has really slowed this match down and really grinding it out with Dante Martin. The, D, the, the speed of Dante is too much for anybody. So I don't blame Kazarian for, for trying to slow Dante down and getting wrist control here to stop this. This, this, this kid's a tre tremendous, tremendous athlete. Kazarian got counters for counters. Dante over the top, sunset flip, two count. Kazarian kicks out, and Dante drop kick takes Kazarian off his feet. A second one. Dante just looks like he's floating on air when he delivers that drop kick. Well, he makes it look easy. Uh, again, just just his vertical. Look at this. Oh. Comes over that top with a snapmare, and. Now that T. Harris takes down Kazarian. And he, he didn't even get it all. He got him over, dude. No, you see he, that? And Kazarian got tangled in the ropes. And Dante just a senton. The cover. Two. Wow. Yeah, tough to beat a guy, a veteran like Kazarian, who's battle-tested, Frankie is. So that was a great senton with crazy height by Dante, but not enough to beat Cass. Leading up to full gear, AEW Rampage will be live on TNT this Friday night. And immediately following our broadcast Friday night will be the countdown to full gear. Kazarian, the leg drop, hooks the far leg, too. Well, see, that's great scouting right there by Kazarian, Excalibur, because we've seen for time in and time out, Dante did amazing high air, that big air sunset flip. And Kazarian wasn't sitting around for the landing, you know what I mean? Good job by Kazarian. Dante escapes between the rope swing and a miss. Kazarian was swinging for the fences, as was Dante. Kazarian connects, brings in Dante Ooh. into the cutter. Match is over, he got him. Kazarian wins. Cover, the far leg is hooked. No, Dante able to kick out. I thought he was gonna get him on that impressive kick out by Martin. And you see Leo trying to coach up Dante. Dante Martin down after that cutter. Circling back to the countdown to full gear. Coming up this Friday night, 11 p.m. Eastern, 10 Central. Kudos to our uh, post-production team in Nashville, always doing a great job with those countdowns special. You're not gonna wanna miss it, just like Kazarian did not miss with that clothesline. Yeah, but I think Dante wished that he would have missed with that clothesline because it turned Dante inside out. Dante Martin down, you can see he is dazed by that big time shot from Frankie Kazarian. Stalking him. Kazarian is stalking Dante. Looking for that cross face chicken wing. Got it just about almost locked in. Dante backs Kazarian to the corner. Dante comes over, goes for the stunner. Kazarian felt it coming, maybe even baited Dante in. Look, look at Leo Rush grabbing the boot of Frankie Kazarian. Hey, do what you gotta do, smart. Oh, Kazarian charged in, nobody home. Dante, the double jump, the springboard, the moonsault. He's got Kazarian hooked. Whoa! The winner of this match, Dante Martin. Well, that match could have went either way, dude. That thing could have went either way. What a give, give it a, I'm sorry, but you got to give the assist right there to Leo Rush. You absolutely do, but I'm not sure if Dante even knows what happened. Correct. Correct. Dante might not be too happy if he knew what happened. Doesn't matter, he got a victory over a, 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 an amazingly talented veteran, and you see he's pissed off Kazarian. He knows what happened. Kazarian knows that the, the assistance of Leo Orton. Dude, you can tell him, yeah. Kazarian's saying, dude, you don't know what happened. This guy helped you out. Well, Dante Martin. 
picks up the biggest singles victory here in his young AEW career. And what a huge victory. And only up for here for Dante Martin and Leo Rush. Excellent match. This could be a sneak preview. Some upcoming TBS Championship tournament matches. Jamie Hayter, Emmy Sakura, and Rebel take on Thunder Rosa, Real Mizunami, and Chris Statlander next. This is a trios tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by Lulu Pencil and May Sigura, Emmy Sakura. Emmy Sakura with her, her royal court, Lulu Pencil, May Saruga. May looking a little bit like May St. Michelle, but maybe my eyes are failing me. Well, people just you know, sometimes when they go across different borders in the world, they scout, you wouldn't know this, their names change. Uh, like stuff like happens with the passport. It's like electronic or digital stuff. It's just a pandemic. It's like putting an extra Z in somebody's name. Oh, that was bad. That sucked when you said that. <laughs> that was mean. Very mean! <laughs> Introducing next, from Southampton, England, Jamie, Hater, and Rebel! Speaking of mean, hate is real mean, and Rebel's always having a great time. Rebel and Jamie Hayter, two close associates of our AEW Women's World Champion, Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. We'll talk about Britt and her match coming up this Saturday night at Full Gear in just a little bit. Throw it back down to Justin Roberts. He's got an extra Z in his name, too. <laughs> Opponents, the team of Chris Statlander, Anigirio Mizunami, and Thunder Rosa. What a trio here, huh? Yeah, big time trio. Chris Statlander, Thunder Rosa, and Anaki Rio Mizunami. Thunder Rosa, Thunder, she's Rosa, Thunder, she's Rosa. I never actually looked at the lyrics, so I'm glad I got you to tell me what they are. I wrote the song, bro. Oh, I see. I, see. I worked with what's his name all the time. Mikey Rogers? Yeah. The best friend. My oh, man. The best friend. <laughs> we oh, mentioned no. No. Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, will be in action this Saturday night, defending her AEW Women's World Championship against the number one ranked Ty Conti, live on pay per view at full gear, and Jamie Hayter making a quick tag out to Rebel. Yeah, that thing uh, with Britt Baker and Ty Conte is red hot. And the Women's World Championship will be decided at full gear. It's going to be awesome for sure. Slapped in the face oh, of God, Thunder that's... Rosa Rebel. He's got chopped across the chest. Irish whip into the ropes. Arm drag takes down Rebel. A second one. Those are rough. And a third. Thunder Rosa hanging on. Good on ball by Rosa. Rebel trying to fight up to her feet. Of course, we mentioned full gear. Oh, look at that. Wow. Great flexibility by Rebel. Full gear available this Saturday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, live on pay-per-view. You can order on traditional pay-per-view providers, Fight TV, and Bleacher Report. Not going to want to miss it. There we go. Mizunami all over Sakura. A lot of history here. Big chops. Oh, yeah. From the seedling across the sea, champion Rio Mizunami. Rio do some crazy, wacky little spin dance thing, little shucking thing. And oh, oh, what was going on there? Wait a second. Emmy Sakura oh. just planted Rio Mizunami. He's we not... will. We will. We. <laughs> I love it, man. Rocko! All right. And Emmy Sakura coming across. And look at this. Emmy, Emmy posing with her royal court. Lulu Pencil, May Segura. You're all my friends, these ladies. I'm always hanging around doing stuff, social media stuff. 
I'm over with the, uh, you know, definitely the Japanese wrestling community. They love me. Emmy Sakura with the Romero. Romero special, yeah. yeah. Romero special. And I mentioned. You realize how over I am. I, 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 I don't. I don't. You tell me all the time. <laughs> Jamie Hader tagged in. Hader, of course, still in the tournament to crown the first ever TBS champion here in AEW, as is Thunder Rosa. And could be getting a bit of a preview maybe of a later round tournament matchup. You're right, you gotta figure Hayter would love to get her hands in this match on Rosa and vice versa if you're Rosa, right? So. Snapmare by Rebel. Rio Mizunami's in trouble here. Up to one knee and Rebel's thought she's taking the time. What's she's doing like a little handstand? Wow. Neck breaker. Cartwheel off the back of Mizunami into the neck breaker. Inside leg was hooked, Mizunami kicks out. Gets a front headlock, now get her to your corner, Rebel. Mizunami trying to fight up to her feet. Using her power to back down Rebel. Yeah, Mizunami definitely stopping Rebel, but Rebel's able to kind of pull her weight towards her corner. Mizunami is so close to the corner. Big elbow shot by Statlander. Mizunami back body drop. Mizunami, Mizunami almost got the Statlander, but Emi Sakura stopped her, shut her down. Oh, big time spear by Mizunami. Can she make the tag? Oh, here comes Stat. And she's in there, Stat. Look at those clotheslines. There goes Sakura. Rebel's going to get another one, I think. Oh, oh a kick to the head. Roundhouse kick. And Emi Sakura gets sandwiched on top of Rebel. Here goes Hayter, hip toss. Jamie oh. Hayter added to the pile. Now here comes Thunder Rosa. She's the legal lady. What do they got in mind, these three? And some coordinated attacks from Thunder Rosa, Chris Statlander, and Rio Mizunami. Oh. oh. Wow. The assistance of May Saruga and Lulu Pence on the outside. Oh! Sakura with a Queen's Gambit. But Mizunami. Oh, look. Thunder Rosa being held on the outside. Uh oh, uh oh. Jamie Hayter, what a backbreaker. Look at, oh, look at these, these two. Statlander, Blue Thunder Bomb. Rebel, the boot to the side of the head. Rebel now in control. Statlander's in trouble here. What the hell? Whoa, Rebel, wow, throwing Statlander into the ropes. Just a vicious talk. Oh, the blindside shot from Thunder Rosa. Don't turn your back on Rosa. Thunder Rosa has got Rebel up. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Fire Thunder Driver. Two, three. The team of Chris Statlander, Rio Mizunami, and Thunder Rosa. That was a thunderous landing that Rebel ate right there. Oh, Hater now coming back in. Jamie Hater, the blindside shot on Thunder Rosa. Hater and Thunder Rosa will square off in the quarterfinal round of that TBS Championship Tournament. And Hater maybe looking to soften her opponent up. Chris. Oh, oh wait. wait. Ruby Soho with a, a pipe in her hand. Say it ain't so, Ruby Soho. Wow. Whoa. And Soho and Statlander will square off in the quarterfinals. Statlander's like, what's up with that? Wow, a tense moment here between the quarterfinal opponents, Chris Statlander and Ruby Soho in the TBS Championship Tournament. Well, Soho was trying to do the right thing there, so and that's what she's explaining to Statlander. I think Statlander, in my professional opinion, is being a little bit hypersensitive. That's just me. Well, Statlander gave the assist to Ruby Soho. Ruby returned the favor. But this trio, Statlander, Thunder Rosa, and Rio Mizunami victorious here tonight. A lot of intrigue, though, in this TBS Championship Tournament. Big Magic Matt Lee, Jeff Parker 2.0, take on Matt Seidel and Lee Moriarty next on Dark. Contest set for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. 
approaching the rim from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. At a combined weight of 397 pounds, Matt Lee, Jeff Parker, 2.0. Little heat earlier today. Little heat backstage here in St. Louis for being 2.0. 2.0. I think they're your good friends. I know. I, they are. We are friends. Jeff, Matt, and Taz. Everybody knows that. It was all about the bagels. They were pissed off about what I said about the bagels of Montreal. They were all twisted, bro. Really? Oh, oh I'm sad I missed this. Oh, he, the Matt was like, the New York bagels are doughy. I'm like, stop, you're doughy. Get out of here. Should have filmed this for the vlog. I don't film my video. No, I'm not a vlog guy. Please, don't say that. That's just accurate. Skip to that. And their opponents first, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing 185 pounds, Lee Moriarty. Look at the Tiger style up in here. Watch out. Lee Moriarty, one of the great young additions here to AEW. And he found himself one hell of a mentor in this man. My time to play. And his tag team partner, being accompanied by his brother Mike from St. Louis, Missouri, Matt Seidel. Hold on a second, pump the brakes. I know Seidel for years. I didn't know he's from St. Louis. That's a work. Is he really from St. Louis? He's from St. Louis. And he's a Mizzou graduate. Really? Yes. Seidel went to secondary school after high school? I think it's a tertiary school, but whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying. I didn't know that. Yeah. You learned something new here on Darn. Yeah, I guess so. Ah, oh, what a reaction. That's why he's wearing the suck up St. Louis shirt. He's from here, for God's sake. But as I was saying, Lee Moriarty All right. <laughs> has found a mentor in Matt Seidel. I think Moriarty looks at it as Dante Martin's loss is Lee Moriarty's gain. You no. sure that he's from he, meaning uh, Seidel? Is, what about his brother Mike? He's from St. Louis, too? Yeah, they were both born here. Seidel lives in uh, Clearwater, Florida right now. It's where well, I'd leave St. Louis, too, if I was in. It's a great wrestling town, but it kind of sucks to live here. Not enough of that. Put to the midsection by Big Magic Matt Lee. Scoop and a slam. 2.0. Tag team specialist. This is the first time for Lee Moriarty and Matt Seidel. Oh, oh, team what? up. Wow, Seidel. Yeah, you got to be careful with Matt Seidel. He's crafty, veteran, always in great shape. The boot thrown by Matt Lee. Seidel with the leg trip. And Seidel, the standing mariposa. Inside leg was hooked. Barely a one count on Matt Lee, though. Lee wanted to get over. Matt Lee wanted to get over to tag Jeff Parker, but he couldn't do it. And Seidel got right on that wrist. Now here comes Big Lee. Lee Moriarty. A lot of Lees, a lot of Matt's in this match. Jeff That's Parker, a great observation, out. dude. Thanks. That's why you're the best mask play-by-play -play man in the history of the business. You know that, right? Thanks, Taz. Big arm drag by Jeff Parker. Parker did tag himself in. I was making a bad joke. And Jeff Parker, really tenacious with that arm bar. Be careful, you know, because uh, Lee Moriarty, he counted a lot of different holds. He's very well-versed, catch style. He knows what he's doing. Moriarty, oh, stepped over Parker, took down Matt Lee. Side L, just a, just a leaping kick. Takes down Parker. Taz, I'm going to go out on a limb and I'm going to say, I'm the best commentator wearing a mask right at this booth right now. I agree. Moriarty Watch out. launches Watch out. off Jeff Parker. Oh, but Matt, Matt, oh, oh, the power of Matt Lee comes beautiful, into play. Beautiful counter. He might get the win here. Leg is hooked. Moriarty kicks out. Yeah, that was an excellent counter. Kind of like a released Northern Light -like suplex per se. Might have knocked his mouthpiece out if he, I don't know if Lee was wearing a mouthpiece. That might be a mouth guard. Some call it a piece, I call it a guard. Good teamwork there, but you can't stay in there long like that. Got to get out, Matt. Jeff Parker now. Right, big right hand on Lee and working over Lee. And you see referee Bryce Rem Remsburg saying, you got to break. You gotta, he's got five seconds, Bryce. Lighten up a little bit. A little too aggressive, Remsburg. Of course, tomorrow night, AEW Dynamite. We are hurtling towards full gear with rapid speed. Lee Moriarty and Matt Seidel will be taking on 
Dante Martin and Leo Rush. Leo Rush making his Dynamite debut tomorrow night live. Coast to coast, Matt Lee, lateral press. But you know, as, they, as a team, though, you got to look at Lee and that Matt Seidel. Oh, lateral they're, press again. They're struggling against a, a, a legitimate team, not a makeshift team, a legitimate team, an experienced team in 2.0. But we'll see how it ends up here. 2.0 with a great win-loss record since their arrival here as a tag team. And now to tag out to oh, Jeff quick. Parker. And that's such one of you want quick tags, keep Keep Lee Moriarty in that corner. Nice snap suplex. Keep him away for Seidel. Cover. Two. Nope. Just a two count for Jeff Parker. Taz, is it an advantage? I mean, I, th I think it is, and I think you're probably going to say yes to this. So it's a dumb question. But is it an advantage for Matt Seidel and Lee Moriarty to have a match as a tag team before going into... Whoa! Nice tackle. Yes, I agree. It's probably not a good idea. You know what? Knowing Leo Rush like I know him, he might have slipped something to these guys to kind of, you know, get oh. them to lose the matches. You know what I mean? Very well might have. But look at that. Moriarty was trying to make the tag, but Jeff Parker very tenacious. That's why he is a tag team specialist. Moriarty really trying to make the crawl. Can he oh, get that, it? Well, we got to see if he can. And not for nothing, 2.0 seems like the type of guys that can be bought, right? Oh, oh absolutely, Taz. <laughs> but Nothing wrong with that, by the way. Side L. <laughs> Chopping these kicks at Matt Lee with those oh, no. kicks. Oh, oh. Rolling soul butt takes down Matt Lee. Watch out, Jeff. Those round kicks to the hamstring. Short shoot reverse. Irish whip into the ropes. Reverse leg lariat by Matt Seidel. Seidel. Oh, not sure if Leo's getting his money worth here. Money's worth, I should say. Yes, yeah, Seidel's looking great since the tag. And now sending Lee Moriarty into the Ooh. corner. Double knees in the corner. High double knees from Moriarty. Now the charging knee strike from Matt Seidel. Good gosh. Full speed right there. Poor Jeff Parker. Matt Seidel. The oh. Meteora. Leo's got to be cringing right now. One, two. Oh, no. Matt Seidel like he came off the St. Louis arch with that Meteora. He's from St. Louis. Texas. I'll tell you what, very close to being a hometown hero, but it didn't happen, which I'm kind of glad at. I like the arch joke, by the way. Thank you. 2.0 for double suplex. Moriarty brings Seidel down. The assist. Oh, oh right on the head. Part, uh, excuse me, Matt Lee, Lee sent, head. sent into the ropes. He got hung up in the ropes. Jeff Parker swinging a miss. Moriarty. Ooh. Tope Suicida between the second and third row. Comes down to Seidel and Jeff Parker. What's Jeff got in mind here? Jeff Parker, oh, delayed vertical suplex. Put him with the knee, dude. Seidel hit the knee to the top of the head, the knee to the jaw. The big roundhouse kick. Matt Seidel, he's got Jeff Parker, the lightning spiral. He's gonna get him, I One, think. One, two, three. The team of Lee Moriarty. Seidel! Well, a notch in the win column for Lee Moriarty and Matt Seidel. That's a big win, dude, in the tag team ranks for these guys. Yeah, 2.0 has been on fire here in the tag team division. Mike Seidel coming in to celebrate. What will the story be tomorrow night, live, coast to coast, on AEW Dynamite? Lee Moriarty, Matt Seidel, taking on Dante Martin and Leo Rush. Can't wait, should be hot. Well, speaking of... Well, that's Top Flight's music, Dante. What's going on here? Oh, there's Leo and there's Dante. Dante Martin not looking too happy, but Leo Rush, big smile on his face. Yeah, I think it's smart. I, I gotta assume this was Leo's idea to come out here and steal the moment from Lee and Seidel. A little psychological warfare in advance of Dynamite coming to you live tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific, coast to coast, Dynamite on Wednesday.
on AEW Dark, the native beast Nyla Rose with Vicky Guerrero in her corner goes one on one with Tootie Lynn. The following contest is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Soon to be making her way to the ring from Washington, D.C., the native beast. Nyla Rose! Nyla Rose, the former AEW Women's World Champion. Could she be the inaugural TBS Champion? Nyla Rose will be meeting Hikaru Shida in the quarterfinal round of the TBS Championship Tournament. Taz, who you got? Boy, that's a tough one. I mean, that's a tough one. I'm a fan of both Nyla and Shida. Both former champs, as you said, AEW Women's World Champions. And it's going to be tough, but I, I, I got to lean towards Sheeta in that one with her 50 victories. You know, I, I, I got to lean, lean towards Sheeta. 50 victories, but the injured wheel. Let's throw it back down to Justin real Good quick. Good point. Her opponent from St. Louis, Missouri, Tootie Lynn. Tootie Lynn made her debut here last night on AEW Dark Elevation. Looked impressive in defeat. She's gonna have a work cut out for her against the native She's beast. Got some Rose. interesting moves with the hands, Tootie. I kind of like that. Yeah, Tootie, Tootie Lynn, an experienced martial artist, avoided contact. Uh, she is well versed, striking arts. You can see here her hands out, her fingers out. Oh, it's Nyla like grabbing that. a handful of hair of Tootie. The kick to the midsection. Tootie Lynn hammering the forearms into the back of Nyla Rose. Oh, look at that, Tootie Lynn. Rapid fire strikes, kick to the midsection. Nice knee strike, nice fire. Tootie Lynn, oh, just got struck by Nyla. All that doesn't matter when you're dealing with a former AEW Women's World Champion and that pure power of the native beast, Nyla Rose. Ni oh, wow, Nyla putting her power on display, bringing Tootie up from the mat, the overhand chop. And I mentioned the injury to Hikaru Shida's knee. We saw after the first round match, Serena Deep inflicting some extra punishment oh! to the knee of Sheeta. That could be a factor going into that quarterfinal round matchup. Definitely, that you pointed it out perfectly earlier, you know, in my commentary. And you're right that that injured wheel. I pull her up here. You can see she's grabbing her hair. Usually, when someone covers you, they don't grab your head, but she wants to disrespect Tootie. Oh, Samoan drop from the native beast Nyla Rose, and Nyla bringing. Tootie up. Oh, hanging. Tootie Lynn out to dry over the top rope. We've seen the, we've seen when Nyla comes in with this knee strike. Yeah, it's nasty. All of her weight coming flying through the air off of the top turnbuckle. Nyla Rose sizing up. Tootie Lynn and drops the guillotine across the back of the neck. I love how Nyla takes her time with it. I love it. Now Nyla covers and gets the win. The native beast, Nyla Rue. Excellent momentum, just a good victory going you know, as she floats in this TBS tournament. It's excellent. Nyla crushing T. Lynn in the corner repeatedly. And the native beast, Nyla Rose, with momentum, as you said, Taz, going into the TBS championship tournament. And perhaps most importantly, Nyla going in uninjured. Unlike Sheeta to the point. Andrade El Idolo takes on Warhorse next on AEW Dark. Weighing 227 pounds, Andrade El Idolo. Andrade El Idolo has seen He's got alliances all over AEW with Malachi Black, with the Pinnacle, receiving or buying the services of FTR from the Pinnacle for the next two weeks. Well, we've heard him say it recently. 
and AEW programming. I have friends all over the world, man, and it's the truth when it comes to Andrade. Andrade El Idolo with Jose, his assistant. What a match we came off of on Dynamite. Yeah, last with Cody. It was a last match. Wednesday night. Andrade El Idolo defeating the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, with the assistance of FTR. And then we heard on Rampage, FTR throwing down the gauntlet, laying out the challenge. It will be Dax Harwood and the Bastard Pack live on Dynamite tomorrow night, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific, live coast to coast. Andrade El Idolo. Really taking his time. No reason to rush. And he knows that the man he's going to face here in this matchup, it, it, to him, it's going to be easy pickings. That's how he's thinking it. And I don't blame him for thinking that way. And his opponent, Warhorse. Warhorse, big time local favorite. Making his return to AEW, Warhorse challenged the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, while Cody was TNT champion and was laying out those open challenges. I remember that. You hear a Warhorse chant, and all of that that he did with Cody, local favorite, all that stuff, his independent wrestling stuff, it's not going to mean a hill of beans against one of the best in the world regarding Andrade. Wait a second, look at oh, Jose. Jose. Look at Jose. Oh, he's gonna. Okay, he's gonna. He, that's what you do with the taking off the the, he, the link roller. Yeah, you got the link roller. You got three. Warhorse turning his back on Andrade El Idolo. <laughs> there was no need to even do that, but Andrade just does everything with a calculated style. That's what it is with this man. He's just a special athlete, second generation star, as you pointed out on Dynamite. Him and Cody both second generation stars. Well, again, it was a tremendous match. Cody Rhodes and Andrade for sure. But it was the assistance, the interference by FTR that was the turning point in that great one-on-one -on -one matchup. But Warhorse being placed up on the top, rope and the overhand chop to the chest from Andrade El Idolo. Yeah, Andrade, well documented, very heavy-handed athlete. Maybe going big superplex right here. Warhorse put a little blockage on it. War Another one. Yeah, Warhorse hanging on, hanging in there, and a headbutt. Knocks Andrade El Idolo back into the ring. Warhorse. Oh! Got a little bit ahead of himself there, the young man Warhorse. He's more like a dead Warhorse now. And Andrade. No disrespects to dead Warhorses, but I hear you. He's got the hammer lock in. El Idolo. Thanks for coming, Warhorse. The Shoot. cover and a victory by Andrade. Andrade El Idolo. He planted Warhorse and got the victory. Did Andrade El Idolo. Representing Team Taz, Powerhouse Hobbs, and Ricky Stark battle the Dark Orders 5 and 10. Ellen Angels and Preston Vance next. TW World Champion Absolute Ricky Starks and Power House Hawks. Taz, it's your boys. Mm hmm. Got a little meeting earlier today. We know this will not be easy pickings when you're dealing with the Dark Order, but I'm very confident in Starks and Hobbs for sure. I promise we'll do well in this thing, man. We are ready for the fight. These men love to fight. You people haven't seen Hook fight yet. Don't worry, it'll be there. Join the Dark Order. And their opponents, being accompanied by members of Dark Order, 
combined weight of 424 pounds, Allen Five Angels, and Dark Order number 10. Well, I had to make sure that the company here, AEW, did not allow any of those Dark Order members ringside, none of them, because they're always sketchy up to no good, and it's unfair to Will Hobbs and the FTW champion, Ricky Starks. It's not fair, so that's why. What about Hook at ringside? What about Hook? I, I, that, you know, well, yeah, I understand what your problem is, but I can't help you. Thanks, Sans. Before this match gets underway, AEW will be live tomorrow night, Indianapolis, Indiana, for AEW Dynamite, the Indiana Farmers Coliseum, and then next Wednesday night, the fallout from Full Gear, Wednesday, November 17th. Slow this, slow this. Sorry, go ahead, continue. Chartway Arena, Norfolk, Virginia. Tickets for both events on sale right now, AEWTIX.com. Starks chopped to the chest of number 10, Preston Vance. 10, that chops the elbows back in Starks up to the corner. Well, you know, Starks is very resilient, even though Vance, one of the more powerful athletes on the roster, as is Hobbs, who's not in there yet, but Starks, one of the more clever, cerebral athletes we have in AEW, which makes it so proud that he's part of Team Taz, his intelligence. Look at this. Preston Vance laying down those right hands. Those are meant to hurt, Nine. to the back of the head. Those are, get him off the ropes. Where's the referee here? And the tenth one from number 10. Scoops up Starks. And the fall away slam. Well, Starks has got to try his best to get over there to Hobbs. But that's tough. It's easy to say that, but after that type of fall away slam, watch out for Angels here. Angels tagged in. That Assistant T. Harris takes down Starks. Angel's coming off that unbelievable match with the with the Kenny Omega that was unbelievable, the AW World Champion on Dynamite. That was a tremendous match. And five shots from number five. Oh. Angel slips under the grip of Starks. Goes through, lands on his feet, Russian leg sweep. Things aren't looking good for Team Taz here. That's all right, that's all right. He couldn't even get a cover, Angels. To see what Starks did, he brought him right to the corner where Hobbs is. And speaking of Kenny Omega, Taz, he will be defending the AEW World Championship this Saturday night live on pay-per-view at full gear against none other than the top-ranked, his former partner, Hangman Adam Page. Former AEW World Tag Team Champions, Omega and Hangman, so I can't wait to see that for the world title at full gear. You see what, uh, what Angel's trying to do, he's trying to chop down that Redwood, the big Redwood known as Powerhouse Hobbs, but Oh, oh dropping like to that. the knee. Hobbs goes down. Right to the kneecap. Swing and a miss by Hobbs. Angels. That was a mistake. In Launch. my opinion, the Angels should have went for the knee again and he didn't. Yeah, he launched off the chest of Hobbs and Hobbs. That was a mistake. Yeah, you turned. make more mistakes with my guys, they're going to eat your lunch, dude. The boot up in the corner, though, by Angels. Angels gets the boot up once again. Hobbs. What the hell's going on here? A little staggered. Angels. Oh! Man. That's that insane power that Hobbs has completely shutting down, shutting down Angels. Powerhouse Hobbs, delayed vertical suplex. A little spin in there also. Yeah, giving Angels plenty of time to think about it, and Hobbs grabs the wrist. Smart tag team wrestling by Team Taz here. Absolutely, and great poise by Stalks and Hobbs not to rush into nothing. Expose those intercostals, the rib cage area. I feel bad for Allen Five Angels. He's gonna be doomed now dealing with Starks. Starks back elbow from the FTW champion. The cover. This guy is the FTW champion for a reason. For a reason. And you see what Starks is saying to Knox. Are they, are they brothers? Because they got those big, ugly, bald heads. Angels and Rick Knox, the referee. Hate people with bald heads. And a slam by Ricky Starks. Uh, just a stomp of the flat of Hobbs' boot driven into the rib cage of, cage of Allen Angels. More fired up. He's really great, huh? What a guy. Starks. Well, they're very good friends. I mean, Starks and Hobbs are good friends. And Starks is so impressed with powerhouse Hobbs, and as am I. Put your mask on or I kick you Starks, very supportive. Powerhouse Hobbs. And coming up this Friday night, AEW Rampage will be live at 10 p.m. Eastern from the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and then immediately following Rampage, the countdown to full gear on TNT. But Hobbs, man, he just flattened Angels. Big time. 
like running into a big brick wall in the middle of Oakland, California, buddy. <laughs> Powerhouse Hobbs just running Angels over. Put, now look at that, the boot on, on the skull of Angels, keeping them in place. And Hobbs, Hobbs has got like a size 15 shoe, man. He's a massive man. Angels, oh, counter here. looking for sunset flip. Stark's trying to get out of this. Don't go to your back. Oh, reach no, no, forward. No. Look at this, Angels. Smart. Good kick out right there. And Stark's doing a smart thing, putting himself in between Angels and number 10. Exact, exactly, exactly. I should say, good observation by you, X Cal. Watch out. Whoa, no, no, Angels. No, no. That's all right. It was close. No Very cigar. close to the corner. Boot to the midsection. Angels goes off the back and makes the, the tag out to number 10. Ricky Starks gets oh, taken down. So does Powerhouse Hobbs. And oh, pump kick in the corner on Starks. And number 10 comes in the high boot across the face of Powerhouse Hobbs. Starks sent over the top. A little bit overzealous, and now Hobbs. No, 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 no. Wow, spine buster by Preston Vance. How strong is this guy? Holy cow. Will Hobbs, not a small man, and now almost in the full Nelson. Don't Number let him lock 10. it in. Good job, Starks, that, that away. Good job. Ricky Starks breaking up the full Nelson attempt by number 10. Starks. Oh, no, no, power bomb. Up. Whoa, the counter out of that. Got, got through, landed on his feet. Powerhouse Hobbs. Uh-oh. Oh, spine buster of his own. We got the win. One, two, no, Angel's there and breaks it up. Well, Starks tried to stop Angel's. Angel's one step ahead, he, and he was able to break that up. Oh, big nice spear by Starks. What a shot right there. Ricky Starks, the spear on Angel's. Elbow strike, though, by number 10. Well, 10's tough. Starks knows that. He's going to keep bringing it, though. He's going to keep bringing it. Starks picking up 10 and taking him over the top. Power right there by Starks. Yeah, this is a really impressive display by number 10. And look at this. Or excuse me, impressive display by Starks. The tag made out to Angels. Angels comes in and now just he went, he well, he hesitated for a second. When you hesitate with a guy like Hobbs, you're going to get eaten up. He rushed right into Hobbs, and Hobbs using his power. Now, Hobbs, oh! Oh, ho, ho! Just flattens Angels. One, two, three. Here are your winners. The team of Ricky Starks and Powerhouse Hobbs. Team Taz, a dominant victory here tonight on AEW Dark. Ahead of her AEW Women's World Championship shot coming up this weekend at full gear, Ty Conti in action next on Dark. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit making her way to the ring from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Ty Conti. Taz, we could be looking at the next AEW Women's World Champion in Ty Conti. That could happen for sure at full gear. By the way, Anna Jay, the best friend right there of Ty Conti. You know, to your point, Dr. Britt Baker is going to put her championship on the line at full gear against Conti. Dude, I'll tell you, I like Conti's chances. From Bat Street, Atlanta, GA, Miranda Gordy. Miranda Gordy, the daughter, the late great Terry Gordy. Well, Terry Gordy was an amazing competitor for sure. Great success in the United States and Japan. So it's great to see his daughter in action here. And Ty Conti with a nice forearm right there. Big elbow strike, a big flurry from Ty Conti. And we will get a sneak preview Ooh. of Full Gear tomorrow night on Dynamite when Ty Conti teams up with Anna Jay and Thunder Rosa to take on Jamie Hayter, Rebel, and Dr. Britt Baker, DMD, in a trio's tag team match. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. DD Ty. Already? Wow. One, two, three. No winner of this match, Ty Conti. 
Well, that's how you get it done. No playing games. Ty Conti headed into Dynamite tomorrow night and full gear live on pay-per-view this Saturday night with a ton of momentum. The War Dog himself, Wardlow of the Pinnacle in action next on AEW Dark. This is Wrestling. This next battle is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Being accompanied by Sean Spears from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing 267 pounds, Wardlow. Love Wardlow, love this guy. Sean Spears in the house. Sean Spears, the chairman, Wardlow, member of the Pinnacle, alongside FTR and MJF. Let's hear this next from Justin Roberts. You know the QT Marshall Wolf gimmick right there. Ryan Mantel. Get it? I get it. Uh, I, was, I, was trying to, I was trying to do a paper for promo. Yeah. No, I was just trying to make an observation. I, I, know, I was trying to pay the bills. I'm sorry. All right, no problem. I'm sure your, your sterling witticism is much more important. Wow, nice trip there. <laughs> My God, you know, you're really bitter tonight. I love it. <laughs> MJF, Darby <laughs> Allen. Face to face, one on one for the first time ever in AEW coming up this Saturday night, live on pay per view at full gear. Swing and a miss by Ryan Mantel. Wardlow. Nothing like a pissed off ex caliber. I love it. Here we go. Wardlow in control. No, who's got a worse attitude? You or Wardlow? <laughs> oh, Wardlow. Oh. I'm sure Ryan Mantel wishes I was in the ring instead of Wardlow right now. Well, not if you hit him with that Tiger Driver 98, but I digress. <laughs> There it is again. Watch out. <laughs> Wardlow with Mantell up on the ropes. Uh oh. Oh! Mantell becomes a casualty of war. Jeez. Mike Posey stops the match. The Wardlow victorious. Has this match. Your winner, Wardlow. Oh, man, what impact there. Holy smokes. Well, wait a second. Yes. Chairman Sean Spears with the apple in the mouth. I love it. Delivers the C4 after the bell. Ha -ha. Such a Thanksgiving thing to do. We're so close to Thanksgiving. I love that. You know, the turkey with the apple. Completely unnecessary. Typically, the apple's in the pig's mouth, not the turkey. But I digress. Taz Wardlow, victorious here tonight on AEW Dark. Darby Allen will go one on one with MJF this Saturday night at full gear. But tonight, Darby will face QT Marshall in singles action next. This battle is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Cut my music, Justin, shut your mouth. Finally, someone tell me, just gonna be quiet. Vicky Guerrero does it like every week. Normally, I'd let this idiot do his job, but tonight, it's straight to business. This message is for you, Sting. Yes, yes, Sting, you, I'm talking to you. You guys like Sting, huh? A man who kicked me. While I'm on dynamite trying to wish, congratulate Darby Allen on his victory, Sting kicks me in my nuts. You like that? It's horrible. Yeah, bad well, that's shitty. fine. Like Sting is best friends with Darby Allen, I have a best friend as well, and his name is Maxwell Jacob Friedman. That's true, they're buddies. And while we were hanging out the other night, as we always do, while we sit there and we talk about how much better we are than the rest of this roster in AEW, he told me, QT, why don't you go to St. Louis as much as it sucks? And why don't you soften up Darby Allen for me? But I said, Max, I'm gonna do you one better. I'm not just gonna soften him up. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't make it to full gear. From Seattle, Washington, weighing 175 pounds, 
Derby Allen. A very fired up, very motivated Darby Allen here tonight on AEW Dark set to square off with QT Marshall. And as QT mentioned, it will be Darby Allen, MJF, one on one for the first time ever in AEW, live on pay per view this Saturday night. Oh, it's heated up for sure. We've seen what happened on Dynamite with Darby Allen and MJF. And well, listen to these people here in St. Louis, they love Darby. Just like QT Marshall, I too am very good friends with MJF, okay? Everyone knows that. And I do not like the Darby Allen. And I know what's going on here, and QT is here basically put a hit, a hit on this punk Darby Allen before him and Max fakes each other. Well, this is the first time we're seeing Darby Allen in ring action since that attack by the masked assailants, which were very clearly the pinnacle. Well, there's no exact proof, but I can understand why you have that hypothesis. Hypo hypothesis. And since that attack, MJF made it his mission to just psychologically destroy Darby Allen, but Darby Allen seems to be too resilient, but I guess the proof will be this Saturday night on pay-per-view when he steps through the ropes to take on MJF. Well, he is resilient, Darby Allen, and he's very fast, right? So even though he's not as big as QT, but he was able to drop QT because of the speed he built up, and there you see the athleticism of Darby Allen. Oh, his knee pad just Whoa. flew off. <laughs> drop kick. flying all over the place. Drop kick to the knee of QT. Darby vaults over the top, lands on his feet. And oh, QT Marshall. With a left-handed line right there. Left arm Larry, and he missed with the right. Caught him the second time around. Shades of the big boss man. God bless his soul. What a shot. QT Marshall now land in the punishment on Darby Allen. Big right hands from QT Marshall. Of course, coming up this Friday night, AEW Rampage, live from Minneapolis, Minnesota, then immediately following Rampage. The countdown to full gear, 11 p.m. Eastern, 10 Central on TNT. Oh, Darby Ooh. escapes out of the grip of QT Marshall, the chop block to the back of the knee, and wow. Darby, oh, QT caught him, overhand oh. chop. QT Marshall got his bell rung. He did, but he, right. he stopped Darby in his tracks. No, right? he did, that's what I was gonna say. Oh. And nice, a little bit of a delay, and that big suplex, that vertical suplex, cover, 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 ooh. That's what you have to do, I mean, and my dealings with Darby through Team Taz, man, it's like, you have to keep making him kick out of things. And, Cause him to kick out, cause him to exert energy, keep the pressure on him, use your size advantage, but it's hard with him. He's so fast, Darby. And that's, uh-oh. For the coffin splash in the corner, QT avoids the back elbow. Darby, though, lands on his feet once again, but QT comes in with a clothesline in the corner. Darby Allen has been fighting bullies all of his life. This dealing with MJF is nothing new for Darby. MJF believes he has broken something within Darby. Will MJF be the, the final bully that Darby faces? A QT diving headbutt. Well, Darby's got to get past QT right now. He might lose this match here. Two, no. Wow, no, was, MJF was, is loving this dude right now. He's loving this. That was a razor close kick out by Darby Allen. And QT doing exactly what he said. He's. He is taking the fight to Darby Allen. Darby might be in no condition to make it to full gear this Saturday night. Yeah, and, and even if, hypothetically, Darby wins this match, doesn't matter. There's a lot of offense and beatdown put on Darby like this. Oh, wait, counter. Wait, Darby lands on his feet on the apron. Elbow strike. Cracks QT across the jaw. Darby Allen up to his feet. Missile drop kick. And he knocked QT all the way out of the ring. And good explosivity by Dobby. Oh, Dobby's not done. Oh, boy. Oh, Darby. boy. Tope Suicida. Like a damn, like, like a damn missile, man. Like he shot out of a cannon. Darby keeping the pressure on QT Marshall here. Immediately returning the larger opponent to the ring. Darby comes in. Code red. 
One, two, whoa! Whoa, that was close. Holy cow. QT kicking out at 2.99. QT is very dazed. Darby headed up top. Oh, he might be going call for drop X. Calvin, oh! Cough and drop. One, two, three. No better this match. Darby. Well, it wasn't easy, but Darby Allen picked up the victory here tonight on Dark. And we know that he will be at Full Gear live on pay-per-view this Saturday night, where he will face Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF. Can't wait for Darby and MJF this Saturday. It's going to be a battle for sure. MJF is going to deal with this guy here. It's going to be tough. It's not going to be easy for Max. Because that's the type of offense here we're looking at by Darby that he's going to bring to MJF. Full gear, absolutely loaded. Saturday night, can't get here soon enough. Darby Allen, MJF, one on one for the first time in all elite wrestling. Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus, and Christian Cage will be in action at full gear this Saturday night. But tonight in our main event on AEW Dark, they will take on the HFO, Matt Hardy, Isaiah Cassidy, and The Blade. Your main event is a trios tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, The Blade. Isaiah Cassidy and Matt Hardy. The Hardy family office in action tonight in our main event here on AEW Dark. Matt Hardy, Isaiah Cassidy, and the Blade. <laughs> I like all three of these men. Matt Hardy is a good friend of mine for a lot of years. I respect Matt. The HFO is legit. But they're going to have their hands full in this one. First, Christian Cage! Christian Cage, since he's arrived here in AEW, has been something of a mentor to Jungle Boy. And really, I mean, they're, they had, I mean, an incredible in-ring interaction, but backstage, Christian Cage, such a positive influence on the young career of Jungle Boy. Oh, he's a stiff Christian Cage. You can't trust him. Sketchy. I know him a long time. Joining him, the team of Jungle Boy and Lucha Sones. Ah, St. Louis, they're going crazy here. As we found out last Friday night, AEW Rampage. It will be Christian Cage, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus taking on the Super Click, the Young Bucks and Adam Cole in a Falls Count Anywhere match live on pay-per-view at Full Gear this Saturday night. Yeah, that is, it's gonna be a battle for sure. It's a lo load of bad blood between the Super Click and these three men right here about to get in the ring. Jungle Life! Jungle Life! Everybody loves the Jungle Boy, the Luchasaurus, and no one likes Christian Cage. No one! You didn't have a cool song. Steal you, buddy, or something? Got a lot of heat for a long time, me and Christian. Whoa, 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 whoa! Jungle Life, Excalibur! Well, speaking of the Super Click, yeah. their partner in the Elite, Kenny Omega will defend the AEW World Championship against the top-ranked Hangman Adam Page, the main event of Full Gear this Saturday night, live on pay-per-view. match that's going to be for the, for the 
the, the championship, the big one. The AEW World title, can't wait for that. Hangman Adam Page is said challenger against Omega. Big, baby. This is a big trios match we have here. Jungle Boy, clearly the fan favorite here. Oh, what, what, no respect for my man from Brooklyn for, my, for Isaiah? The hell's that? The, the people here in St. Louis. I think they like Jungle Boy's beard. Jungle Boy's got a beard? So I can like tell by the hair. Chuck, oh, so Isaiah steps on the back of the back of the leg of Jungle Boy, brings him down. Let's see some of these kids with the crazy hair. Just saying. Makes no sense. Anyway, so. Well, that leapfrog there. <laughs> oh, you got to snort on me. <laughs> oh, Isaiah Cassidy goes through the legs of Jungle Boy, steps whoa, whoa. up. Work on Rana, takes down Jungle Boy. Oh, Isaiah's feeling it, man. Such an excellent athlete. Such a good person, too. Oh, ooh. Boot in the corner from Jungle Boy as Isaiah charged in. Jungle Boy, overhand chop. Now, oh, he's going to do that step up. But Isaiah Cassidy cutting Jungle Boy's momentum off. Isaiah, he's going off right now. And he's got Jungle Boy right where he needs to just keep the pressure on JB. A hammer throw across the ring. Jungle Boy elevates up. Now. Ooh. Jungle Boy, the overhand chop, the kick to the knee. And Jungle Boy up, comes off, and takes down Isaiah Cassidy. And the drop kick from Jungle Boy. Oh, oh. oh right on his hand. I've never seen that. I don't know if he planned to do that, dude. He kept up, Jungle Boy. And he stopped right on his hand. Stopped on my man's hand. <laughs> How did he do that? Oh, that was tremendous. Matt Hardy. All, oh, all, oh, all. Oh. Bad blood, old school heat right here. These two longtime rivals, Christian Cage, Matt Hardy, cross the ring from one another once again. Oh, I, I used to hear the stories. Christian used to bury Matt Hardy all the time. He used to tell me the stuff about he hated Matt Hardy. Oh, oh wait a minute. The kill switch. Hardy escapes out, swinging a miss. Ooh, and the big money match, one of the nicest people you're ever going to meet. It's a charming man. He really is. Right hands, lefts and rights, battering the head. Well, he's a heavy hitter, that Christian. I can tell you from experience, I've been in the ring with him. He can go, I promise. But I don't like him. I respect his in-ring ability. Diving uppercut, uh, co uh, cover, but barely a one count. Matt Hardy kicking out, shot to the midsection, makes the tag out to the blade, but Blade walked right into that right hand of Christian Cage. Yeah, Christian Cage has very quick hands, and Blade felt it. And Christian spotted Matt Hardy on the outside. He's up obsessed. Drop kick. He's obsessed with Matt Hardy. Christian Cage. And he's obsessed with Isaiah. HFO on the outside. The blade has got Christian Cage there center of the ring. And the boy. Oh, just a running punt from the blade. Yeah, blade just so intense, so physical. A little just mounting with those overhand rights. Power in those punches. Overwhelming power from the blade here. He's ripped, he's in great shape. What's better, his condition, his physical condition, or his tan? Oh, Blade, oh, it's his condition, he's ripped. It's, it's it, or his in-ring ability. He's, he's such a great tactician, as you know. He really is, I mean, he's like a great mercenary, great acquisition by Matt Hardy for the HFO. Isaiah Cassidy hammering. And if you hate pronouns, ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about the Blade, just so you know. Some people hate pronouns. I'm just saying. Oh, oh, a little cradle here. Christian. Oh, that kick to that jaw. You can see Christian with that shoulder, that right shoulder very heavily taped up. It could be a factor in that Falls Count Anywhere match coming up at full gear this Saturday night, Taz. Oh, don't worry about it. Super click. They're going to be ready. Adam Cole, Bay Bay. He's my man, by the way. I love Adam Cole. And the Young Bucks and me, everybody knows we're good friends. Old school, West Coast, East Coast type thing. You know what I mean? You know that. Yeah, yeah. Big sneakerheads. Bucks love. Yeah, they love sneakerheads. That's right. You know I wear the same type of sneakers as them. Yeah. I yeah, just confirmed. Looked under the desk. <laughs> Isaiah Cassidy back in Christian Cage up to the corner. Matt Hardy on the middle rope. Look at big money, Matt. Look at the rhythm he has. He's so smooth. And the elbow across the back of the head of Christian Cage. Matt Hardy hooks the far leg. Christian. Matt Hardy hates Christian. But you know Christian owes him 
Old Matt Hardy, like tons of money, like old school. I like just to borrow money from the guy all the time, like rip him off. What the hell, Christian? You Connie. You know what I mean? It's like he, he owes you a bunch of money. He owes me money too, but I don't need the money. I need this big money, Matt. Christian's known, like everybody knows. He like he just that's what he does. It says I know you got a lot of problems. Money ain't one of them. And you think I'm loaded? Big money match, ten times more wealthy than me. <laughs> right hand off the mat from Christian Cage, tenderizing the ribs of Matt Hardy. Christian Cage creates some distance. Uh oh, side effect. He might get Christian Cage here. Oh, he didn't go for the cover. That might not have been small by Matt. Matt Hardy tags out to Isaiah Cassidy. I'm surprised Matt didn't go for a cover there. Seriously. Oh, be careful. Christian might be playing possum, man. He's a clever guy. Isaiah Cassidy. Isaiah. Oh, God. Now he's doing the. He's mocking the. the not mocking. He's doing the Hardy gimmick. Well, it went for oh. the senton, but Christian got the knees up. I told you, man. You can't try to play Christian. Ooh. Oh, he might have hurt his knee there, Christian. Christian clutching at that left knee. Yeah, that, that's a problem. Christian's tough, though. I might not like him. He's triple tough. He's crawling. He's trying to make it. Isaiah Cassidy trying to bring Christian across the ring. The boots and the tag made out to Luchasaurus. Oh, no, the dinosaur man. Double shoulder tackles Matt Hardy taking off the apron. Look at Green Tongue Jones go. A blade taken down. Isaiah Cassidy elevated and he got flattened. Oh, big money, Matt. No. Luchasaurus sends Matt Hardy into the corner. Sends the blade into the corner. And now sends Isaiah Cassidy into the corner. He's running out of corners. Dealer's choice for Luchasaurus. Coming in. Luchasaurus. Big splash in the corner, single-handedly taking out the HFO. Oh, I think Isaiah's going for a ride, and the Blade might be going for the same ride. Oh, but Matt Hardy. That inside the hamstring wasn't in the Yambang region. It was on the side of the left quad. And look at this, the HFO swarming Luchasaurus. Stay on him now. Stay on that big dinosaur. Matt Hardy setting up Luchasaurus for the twist of fate. God, Super Clicks got to be loving this. Oh, the tail whip from Luchasaurus dropped Matt Hardy. Blade and Isaiah just figured out what happened. Oh, no. Oof. Luchasaurus plants Blade and Isaiah. Hooks the leg to cover, too. Oh, Blade kicks out. Toughness, toughness, toughness of Blade. Excellent stuff there. And now Luchasaurus signaling something towards Jungle Boy. It was an awkward tag, by the way. What the hell was that? Uh-oh. The blade being set up. No. Look at this. He escapes off the shoulders of Luchasaurus. Jungle Boy, the legal man, alongside the oh, blade. A knee. Jungle Boy charged in. And blade. Oh, the snap suplex into the corner on Jungle Boy. Landed on his head. Jungle Boy right on the back of his head. Oh, headbutt drops the blade. Look at the heads. Matt Hardy. Twist of fate. Watch Christian. Oh, no. Christian Cage, if he turns the corner, kill switch! Get out of there, Hardy. Isaac Cassidy, the stunner on Christian Cage. Jungle Boy, comebacker Lariat takes down Isaiah. The Blade, well, the back suplex. Jungle Boy rolls up Blade. No, Blade kicks out. Jungle go Boy hangs on. He's gonna go snare trap, perfect. The snare trap is locked in. The Blade in serious trouble, and he is forced to tap. Out of this match, the team of Christian Cage, Luchasaurus, and Jungle Boy. Super hard, man. Like, almost impossible to get out of that hole, you know? Once someone clasps their hands like that, and your legs are grapevine, you're done. You can't kick out. You can't, I'm sorry, you can't get out. Right. We've seen Adam Cole frantically tap when he has been locked in the snare trap. Will that be the story this Saturday night live on pay-per-view at full gear when Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus, and Christian Cage face the Young Bucks and Adam Cole? Falls count anywhere. Full gear live this Saturday night. Tomorrow on TNT. I'm gonna let my anger out right now. The pressure is building. I do what I want. Desperation is setting in. I will be champion. What will happen? The last dynamite before full gear. You better hold on tight to it. AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite. Live tomorrow at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific on TNT.